so crazy to me like the most new yorkers that i know they really don't be trying to buy here in new york they literally have such a renter's mentality and when i hear them speak and i hear how much they pay in rent i just it, it astonishes me how they don't even try to go get qualified for a mortgage. That's crazy. What were you talking about the other day? Like, how much is your cousin spending rent? My cousin spends three thousand dollars in rent on a monthly basis for a three bedroom. That's that, crazy, right? That that's crazy. And when I was speaking to him the other day about buying, um, one of the things he said is, "I have a five eighty credit score. I don't even know if I could qualify for a mortgage." That's crazy, right? Yeah. So. We know that with FHA, they allow lower down payments and also they deal with lower credit scores. Yeah, I think too, like what it is, is they've never maybe seen anyone in their family buy. Like their 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 parents are probably renters and you know, their aunts and their uncles. I don't think they've actu actually had anyone or seen anyone acquire a property and, and sign a mortgage. I had someone ask me the other day, like, how much money, mind you, they make like a hundred grand for the year. Gotcha. They're like, how much money do I even need to buy a house? Like, it's they think they just need all this money. It's a, such an unrealistic thing. I kind of want to like break that barrier. Like, how do you think we can do that? We can break that barrier. I think breaking barriers is with education. You know, if people know better, they'll do better. You agree? No, I am 100% agree. I think they also need to see that example. I think that those of us that are like in our circle, mm -hmm. you know, making deals, buying houses, acquiring properties, I think that we kind of even need to like, not necessarily do a to-do, right? Because everyone's doing a to-do, but kind of show what we're getting our hands on and that it's it, it really is obtainable for people that look like me and you, that are young, that are minorities, that are trying to make it happen out here, you know what I'm saying, that are hardworking. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we, it, and just seeing, like you're saying, just seeing other people who are out here doing it and sharing that information with others. You know, I'm first generation uh, immigrant to this country and just seeing all of my aunts and, you know, my aunt, my uncle's own properties that really motivated me right, you know, just right, to see right, them right. work so hard then was able to acquire properties you know it really set a, it really set something it really put something to me where i'm like i gotta get something once i get older but to be honest with you once i started working you know just like in new york you know with my wage and i was working a dead-end job i just didn't see that for myself mm -hmm. you know so i really had to motivate myself by getting a better job also working on my credit score, which is really big. Right. I think that's one of the issues, too. Like, people feel like you need, you know, $100,000 to buy a house or $50,000 saved to buy a house. And they don't realize that you don't need that much money with the government programs available, like the FHA that you always talk about and so many other. I think that, I think that if they're able to afford rent, what mm -hmm. they need to understand is like, hey, if I can afford a $2,000 rent by myself, maybe me and my cousin could buy a house together. She also pays $2,000 rent. My $2,000 rent and her $2,000 rent, that's $4,000 that we could be paying on a mortgage on something that's building equity that we own. You know what I'm absolutely, saying? Absolutely, absolutely. And um, like I tell the millennials, you know, I've told you this before, you want to focus on your first purchase. I think you should buy something over a one family, right? Correct. Meaning you purchase a two family. Like you're saying, if you if it's you and your homeboy, you and your girl, and both of you, you know, are working and renting properties here in New York. Because if you're going to be spending $2,000 each, why not pay $2,000 each into a property that you guys buy? You buy the two families. She lives on one side. You live on one side. Now, the money that you guys are paying is, you know, right now, if you're paying money to a landlord, that's just going out the window. Right, right, With right. this particular two family, you're now paying into something that you guys own. Now you're building equity. When you have children, the children decide to go to school, you can ultimately pull from that equity. You want to start a business, you pull from that equity. That's how a lot of people are getting ahead, you know, when the, uh, they eventually decide to start a business, they're pulling from that equity and using it to do uh, more things to advance themselves. Right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. You know, we definitely want to, to bridge that gap to make sure that people understand it is a lot. It is a lot easier than the average person thinks it is to actually get a mortgage and get into a property. So let's do that. Let's, let's make a date mm -hmm. where, you know, we're going to give the people information. Let's make it free. Um, let's set that date. What's that date on the event again? 